Hi, I'm Philip. I'm going to talk today about structure charts and these are used as part of the HSC software design development syllabus. The purpose of a structure chart is to represent a system for a programmer. Now what it's really doing is showing the big picture of the design and showing all the modules of that system and the relationships between them. How they are called from one another and the data that's been passed. And what we're really doing is following a modular approach by breaking down the, the big system into smaller manageable modules and showing those relationships. A structure chart is a modeling tool and it's used to show programmers how you've broken your project up into different sections. Here are the symbols we have for a structure chart. The most important one is a rectangle and what it is is showing the sub functions or processes each of which is in a rectangle and really each of those rectangles does something so often they're containing verbs like login or process login we then have data which is passed between those processes. We have an open circle and a closed circle. The open circle is really showing parameters which are open and can change like age or your login details and a closed circle is showing the, it's called a control parameter and what it's showing is it's a set values. So for example in Boolean values you might say have you logged in and that's going to be yes or no. We have repetition, which is showing when modules are repeatedly called. Um, and the last one is we have a decision. And so here you can decide upon different functions which are called upon. The lines link different rectangles. It's showing which functions are called upon by other ones. So here we have it. Here's an example down the bottom. We have a problem where we broke it up into A, B, C, D and E. These are all modules within our program. Module A runs first because it's starting from the top and we work downwards and we often work left to right. So from module A it's got a decision so we can either do module B or module E depending upon what is used in module A. If we went down to module B it's run what we have here, we're working left to right. So module B would call module C, and once that's done, it would call module D. We have a repetition. So from module A, we're continually calling either B or D multiple times from, which, from within A. And last of all, we have some data which is passed. In this case, we have a login, which is a control parameter, because of the circle which is filled in. So you really, from B, we might say, have we logged in, yes or no. And then down here, we might have an ID which is passed from A to E, and that's a parameter which can be whatever value you have in it. So that there is an overview of structure charts. So hopefully, that gives you an idea about them. Thank you. Enjoy. I'm Philip.